All right, this is a tutorial on scanning for Toon Boom Studio for optimizing your scans for Toon Boom. When you scan, you want to scan in um, either black and white or grayscale. In this case, I'm scanning in grayscale because I want to keep the texture of the original drawings uh, more evident instead of going more high contrast with the black and white. And I'll show you why in a moment. So. I've got an Epson scan uh, interface open here. Yours may look slightly different. That's okay. One of the things that you can do, uh, hopefully with your scanner interface, is adjust the um, black and white settings, the darkness and lightness settings uh, before you scan, which is helpful. So I'm going to take try to take out all that gray. You can see the gray in the uh, paper. I'm going to try to get rid of that before I scan it and then darken up the actual image a bit so I've got a nice clear line from the rough drawing. Uh, 72 dpi is fine for most pencil tests. You don't need a higher resolution than that. So I'm scanning. I've got my uh, scan settings so I'm going to hit scan. And then, of course, I'll repeat that for the rest of the scene until I get the whole thing scanned. All right, so after you've scanned all your drawings, I, I usually like to open mine up real quick um, in a preview window and just check to be sure everything's there and scanned. It looks pretty good. So I've got this ready to import into Toon Boom. Now, one of the interesting things about, I've drawn a rough layout here in Toon Boom. One of the interesting things about it is, um, any, obviously anything you draw on a vector layer in Toon Boom is transparent. When you bring in hand-drawn animation, you've got the option uh, when you import and vectorize, bring these in from this file, select all, You've got the option of, of importing in black and white, and that works pretty good for some things, but you can notice that the, um, the line quality gets quite a bit thicker than and, and sometimes a little bit blocky. This isn't nearly as soft and subtle as the original drawings. So this can work fine for uh, certain types of pencil test and the great thing about it is if you bring it in like this where it's actually made into a pure vector it's very easy now to um, work with this and it's already transparent so you've got no problem with um, working over the background layer as long as you've got the light table on you can see it and check your animation and make any adjustments. You can you know, resize it or change it. So there's definitely some advantages to having it vectorized, but you can also see how um, messy some of these drawings have gotten. Um, the vectorization process really does a number on the line quality, right? Okay, so I'm going to go back up and show you the other option for bringing in drawings. with texture, which is a new thing in Toon Boom Studio 4.0, which wasn't there in the previous version. So you choose with texture. And you'll notice when you bring it in with texture, your line quality is, uh, and the grayscale of the line quality is kept intact. So it hasn't been, it hasn't acquired that blocky, uh, vectorized look. <clears throat> now there's only one problem. If you bring these in straight as they were scanned, you can already see it in this one window. Let me give this a second for it to uh, load up. Now the problem is, you can see here that the, uh, Bitmap images 
are brought in, but they, they don't have an alpha layer, so they're not um, transparent. They're blocking out the background. Uh, if you're trying to do more, more than one layer, then it doesn't, um, it's not as good as working with transparency. So what you need to do first is um, take these layers, the bitmap layer, and give it a transparent alpha layer before you bring it in. All right, so to bring these drawings into Toon Boom as transparent bitmaps, we need to strip all the white out of them. We're going to use Photoshop to process them. We're going to do uh, create an action and then batch process the whole group of drawings. So open the first drawing and create an action. Go over to Actions in Photoshop and create new action. Let's call it strip white because we're going to take all the white out. The red button means I'm now recording the action. First thing you do is click on the image to make it an, a layer that can be edited. Then use the magic wand tool with the tolerance set to zero. S click anywhere on the white background to select all the white pixels. Then to make sure you get all of them go to select and similar and that will make sure that you've got all the white pixels selected. Then hit the delete key and then control D. So now what we've got is a image with all the white completely stripped out. All that's left are the black pixels or the gray pixels from the uh, actual image that you've drawn. Um, I'm going to close it and save. I'm going to save it uh, for Toon Boom, PNG is a good format. So I'm going to save it as PNG. And we're done. Now I hit the blue button, which is Stop Recording. So I now have that action of Strip White, which I can use to process the rest of the drawings. Now having processed those uh, drawings through Photoshop to make them transparent, it's easy to bring them into Toon Boom and they're now going to be uh, transparent layers that you can work with with your other uh, vector layers that are in Toon Boom, but it won't have lost any of the uh, pencil sketch quality. Here's our uh, bunny drawings. Select all of them and open. And if you preview it with texture, the uh, import with texture, you can already see that um, None of the pencil quality, or none of the uh, line quality of the pencil sketch has been lost. It's not all blocky or vectorized the way it is when you bring it in the other way. So this is going to import, and now that they've imported in, you can see that uh, all the drawings are transparent. You can create, uh, they, you can Reg it to the background. You can work with other bitmap layers that are similarly processed. Uh, you can create a new vector layer over top of these drawings after you've uh, looked at it as a rough pencil test and you're happy with it. You can do your cleanup on a vector layer, which can help for ink and paint. But this is how you can uh, actually work with um, pencil drawings within Toon Boom Studio and keep the, uh, the line quality looking still uh, like a pencil drawing while you're working with it in rough and it won't uh, overly vectorize your line. Now that we have all our drawings brought into Toon Boom, you can test it uh, within Toon Boom, watch a test movie of your animation with or without the background or other levels. Um, if you want to just test the, for instance, the animation of this rabbit, check it out to be sure it's doing everything it should be. You can scroll through it frame by frame to check all your arcs and anything else that you might want to check in the, the timing. Uh, then when you're done with it, you can um, output the whole thing as a QuickTime movie. So this is just a way that you can do traditional pencil tests with uh, 
Toon Boom Studio, it takes longer than shooting with Digicel or TV Paint or something where you've got a, a live video feed, uh, but it can be done. Uh, has a few extra steps processing those drawings through uh, Photoshop, but I just wanted to show you this as an example of how you can use Toon Boom Studio to do a traditional pencil test or a traditional style pencil test where you still have your drawings look like pencil drawings. They don't they're not all vectorized. Um, you know, your line line quality will be whatever you put. And of course, if you if you scan cleanup drawings this way, and bring them in, uh, they look even better. Um, you know, the the vectorization process on the cleanup drawings can can look really sharp. But this was more uh, talking about how you could do traditional rough pencil tests with Toon Boom Studio.